Oh, my, my Lord, Lord, he is in this place tonight. You can feel the presence of the Lord in this house tonight. Oh, Lord, my first scripture is going to be from 2 Corinthians 5 and 14. 2 Corinthians 5 and 14. And we're going to read the first part of it. For the love of Christ constraineth us. For the love of Christ constraineth us. Constraineth means to hold together. Constraineth means to hold together. Hold us in one place. The Lord of Christ is going to hold us together. I'm going to talk about a little bit of trains tonight, and I'm going to go on and make a point. Okay, now how much do you think can a train pull? How much can a train pull? Well, a single 6,000 horsepower locomotive can pull 6,000 tons. Now, if you got now, if it can pull 6,000 tons, an average car can hold 35 tons. That average is to be about can pull up to 171 cars. Okay, let's go a little further. Okay, if you got two engines with 6,000 uh, 6, uh, horsepower, the locomotive can pull 12,000 tons. Now, if it can pull 12,000 tons, if the uh, 35 tons each of a car, it can pull about 342 cars. Okay, let's go a little bit further. Let's go three. Let's go three engines at 6,000 horsepower. Locomotive can thoroughly pull up to 18,000 pounds. That can pull up to 513 freight cars at 35 tons each. If we're all tied together, that little link behind that uh, engine can hold up to 18,000 tons. Okay, now if we can hold, if we're all together, that one link behind it is Jesus Christ. He holds us all together. No matter what we might be going through, no matter what the stress might be, no matter what your friends might be, it doesn't matter what. But if we all stay connected, if we all stay connected, there's no telling what God can do. If we want to have revival, there's no telling. If we'll all just stay together, then we'll go and we'll follow Jesus. We'll stay on our track. I don't know about y'all, but there's a destination. There's a train that has a departure and a Devon destination. And that destination tonight is heaven. There's no telling what God can do if we're looking and we're stay on track. There's no telling. My Lord, that's what I want to do. I want to stay on track. I want to be on heaven. I want my mind goal is to be on heaven and take many people as I can to go to heaven. If there's a time, there's not a time to back out. There's not a place to back out. It's not time to turn around. It's not time to go. It's time to make a heaven, and that's what we've got to do. If you want to make it to heaven, let's stay on that track. Let's be on God. Let's follow Jesus Christ all the way to heaven. My Lord, oh, there, there ain't a time we need to hook up. We need to stay linked up. We need to stay on track. If there's a time now, this is not the time to be going back. It's not the time to be saying, I'm tired of it. It's not the time to be ready, let's go. It's time to get hooked up. It's time to be hooked up. If the Lord Jesus is going to live the right way, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I got another scripture from 1 Corinthians 12 and 12. For as the body is one, it hath many members. And all the members of that body, being many in one body, so also is Christ. We're all joined in a link. We're all joined in a link. But if that one link, that's Jesus Christ. If that one link is Jesus Christ, my Lord, there's no telling what we can do. That we can have a revival. We can have the largest revival in the United States. For that matter, we can have the largest revival in the world. That's not possible. All thing he's got to say is revival in Montgomery, and that's what's going to happen. There's no telling. Oh, my God, there's no telling what God can do in this service. There's no telling how many people, if we'll just get hooked up, if we'll just stay on track. If we'll just stay hooked up and onto that main train line, there's no telling what God can do. There's no telling what God can do. We're all separate in Christ. We're all separate in Christ, but His love joined us. But His love joined us. Let's go back to 2 Corinthians. For the love of Christ constraineth us. That means He keeps us all in hold. He keeps us in place. He keeps us in track. There's no telling what we can do if we'll all just stay hold on. If we'll all, one car cannot hold much, but if we all work together, if we'll all work together and say, look, this is what we got to do. There's no turning back. There's no turning back now. We got to go. We got to go, and that's heaven. And to take many people as we can to heaven. My Lord, oh, my Lord, there's so much we could do if we just get our mind and get hooked up. If we we'll get hooked up to Christ. And that's our main goal is to be hooked up and take many young people and people as we can get. Fill this church. I like Brother McDonald say, hey, we got to knock these walls out. We gotta knock these walls out. Hey, this church ain't big enough. We're gonna have to, we gotta get more pews. We're gonna have to, I mean, we're gonna have to have a cleaning service like a cleaning week instead of just a cleaning day. But yeah, Lord, but we are 
separate in Christ, but his love joined us. His love joined us. No matter how far you're down, no matter what your situation might be, no matter what you're going through, you might say, hey, I'm this or this. It doesn't matter. In God's eyes, he can fix it. There's nothing but just a snap of a finger or a twinkling of an eye. There's nothing. He, he can do it. There's nothing impossible for God. Nothing impossible. He said, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. I can do all things. That means if you've got God on your side, there's no telling what you can do. There's no telling what you can do in Jesus Christ. There's no telling. But, yeah, we need to be separate in Christ. And let's stay on track. Let us have our mind go be heaven and to take many people as we can to heaven. Our mind crap. We'll stay on track. We're all right. Let's don't back out. Let's don't unhook. Let's get hooked and let's stay on track.